Mm-hmm. Slash EMFs. Um, so the the one that's of most of concern to people um, in in the health sphere is um, the extremely low frequency EMFs and radio frequencies, which are on the end of the the electromagnetic spectrum with longer longer wavelengths. So on on the side that we're concerned with. We're looking at longer wavelengths. On the other side, you have the ionizing radiation, the gamma, uh, the X-rays, and the ultraviolet, and all that. But um, so these extremely low frequency. So when people think radiation, they think you know bad. It's not good. But you know, radiation just means giving off. So everything is giving off some type of radiation, and and some of it's it's man-made, which is uh, what a lot of our modern appliances give off our wiring our power lines and all that that's the the 50 to 60 hertz alternating currents that power a lot of what um our our equipment utilizes and so when when these um these 50 to 60 hertz alternating currents power the stuff that we use they give off these these emf these these electromagnetic fields these extremely low frequency electromagnetic fields that induce a body voltage or uh, induce a voltage on our bodies that's that's measurable. Um, and radio frequencies uh, do the same thing. Radio fre- so radio frequencies are what you'll find in like wireless communication equipment like phones and laptops and all that. Uh, but they'll vol- they both will induce a, a voltage on your body, uh, which is not good. Um, so and it's really interesting. So if you if you pull up PubMed, you pull up PubMed right now, and you and you look at um, all of the the publications and everything on it, um, you'll it's it's interesting because you'll find quite quite a bit of differing opinions. It's there. It's so it's there's it's so differing that you're not going to find a consensus on it. A lot of people say awful for your health. Some people say it's not really going to do anything. Don't worry about it. I think it's definitely affecting your health. But uh, again, like in, in the literature, there's really no consensus. Uh, the World Health Organization, which you know everybody has their opinions about, they 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 consider it a class class two B carcinogen, which is possibly carcinogenic. Um, and even then, that's enough for me to to want to avoid uh, being close to these these things that give off this type of radiation, uh, this man made these man made electromagnetic fields. Um, but uh, yeah, and, and the body is, it's always, it's always going to be exposed to electromagnetic fields. EMFs literally permeate every aspect of the known universe. Um, but so, but these particular EMFs, um, you're going to be better off just kind of distancing yourself away from them because the further away you get from them, the less effects they have on your body. Even, you know, even if there's no consensus on it right now, in the literature, I mean, I believe I believe they they, they thoroughly affect health, um, even at low levels. Um, you know, particularly magnetic fields. So it's been shown that you know levels of up to as low as like two milligauss, which is a very low magnetic magnetic power, can can affect cells and culture, uh, can affect fetuses. Um, and it's been shown that people that work in these high High, um, highly electrical environments in the electrical industry. There's a higher incidence of leukemia, and that's that's pretty well documented. That's pretty well documented in the literature. But um, so, and the, the the common assertion with uh, EMFs is that grounding reduces EMFs, um, and that's that's something you hear pretty often. But that's <clears throat> that's partially true. It's not fully true. This is a chapter I actually struggled with writing, with writing a lot because there's so much conflicting information out there. Um, I think you're better off, you know, keeping your distance from from these things that create these, these kinds of these kinds of radiation. But um, where, where grounding plays into this conversation is that uh, so when you and I'm in my house and there are things that aren't necessarily, they're not turned on, but they're still, they're still emitting, they're still emitting electric fields because it's that mere voltage difference that's going to create electric fields in my home. And it's when that current starts to flow, that's when it starts to create a magnetic field. Um, so 
the electric field. Yeah. So you guys know who Richard Feynman is? Yeah. So pretty much considered like the Einstein of the second half of the 20th century. And he talked about this in his lectures, but uh, he essentially said that when the body is, is grounded to the earth, it extent, it essentially becomes an extension of the earth's electric field that kind of redirects electric fields away from the body. Um, but not the magnetic fields. You can't repel magnetic fields. Tristan, you probably know that you need like, you need very particular materials to deflect magnetic fields. So it's, redirecting the electric fields but at the same time even if you're exposed to the magnetic fields this can induce a current that's faraday's law of induction so it's kind of like you know it's it's counteracting some of it but like is it really you know is it really kind of is it blunting the full force of the emfs that's where i kind of sit on the spectrum with that um but yeah, and they call it they call it the umbrella effect, but I think grounding is really useful for for redirecting electric fields, not so much the magnetic side of things, which are equally as damaging. I think, um, but yeah, that's uh, that was a very challenging chapter to write. 